Hey, what's up, big Operation iDroid here, and in this video, I want to talk to you about Dropbox Sync. If you're not using this setting in GBA for iOS, then I don't know what you're doing. If you are using this feature, then I'm super proud of you, but this video is not for you. So before you go, hit me with a like, and next week, I'm sure I'll have a video that you'll enjoy. Anyways, if you don't know what Dropbox Sync is, it's a setting in GBA for iOS that allows you to store your saves onto Dropbox and then load your saves from Dropbox into GBA for iOS. I hope that made sense. And the main reason for using this feature is so that whenever GBA for iOS gets revoked or starts crashing and you can't verify it, your saves will be safe in Dropbox where you can load them back into GBA for iOS without having to worry about deleting the app and losing your saves because when you reinstall a working version of GBA for iOS, you can load your saves back into GBA for iOS with Dropbox Sync. So now that you have that information, let's learn how to use this amazing feature. All right, so here we are on our iOS device. As you can see, I already have GBA for iOS and hopefully you guys do as well. However, this is a revoked version of GBA for iOS as you can see on the screen now. And the reason that I have this revoked version is because at this point, if your application is already revoked, there's really nothing you can do to keep your saves unless you have access to a computer. Then you can check out this tutorial on the card right there and you can transfer your saves to a new GBA for iOS using a computer. Now, there is one more thing you can do if your GBA for iOS is revoked. This really only works within like the first two days of the app being revoked, and that is if your GBA for iOS is still in the multitasking bar, you can actually open it by double tapping the home button and get into it from the multitasking bar, and then from here you can quickly turn on Dropbox Sync, and then you'll be able to delete the application, and then from there, you can install the application again and then load Dropbox Sync and your saves won't be lost. So with that being said, let me show you how to use Dropbox Sync. So as you can see, if you go to the settings of GBA for iOS and you turn on Dropbox Sync, it'll ask you to sign into Dropbox. If you don't have a Dropbox account, then you can just create a Dropbox account. I'm gonna go ahead and log into my Dropbox and then we'll take it from there. When it says syncing, you want to wait until it says upload complete. And then from there, you'll know that your saves are safely stored on Dropbox. You can delete the application without worrying about losing your saves. And then you can reinstall GBA for iOS later and still have those saved. So as you can see, my sync just finished. It says sync complete. And just to show you guys, um, I'm going to show you where I am in the game. And then I'm going to delete the application use Dropbox to get my saves back just to show you that it does work and this is something that you all should do so that you never lose your saves. So here we go, I'm gonna load a state and I have this general state here that's right in front of the bag to choose your starters. And as you can see, that save is there. So now I'm just gonna exit out of GBA for iOS and I'm going to delete it. So I'm gonna quickly reinstall GBA for iOS from iEmulators.com and then we're going to reload Dropbox. Okay, so just as we did before, I'm gonna sign back into Dropbox with the same account information that I used before so that my saves can load back in. So something important to know about Dropbox Sync that a lot of people get confused is that Dropbox Sync only stores your saves, not the actual game. So you'll have to re-download your game from wherever you got it, and then Dropbox will load your saves once it notices that that game is in GBA for iOS. So I'm gonna quickly go download Pokemon Moon Emerald from my website, operationidroid.com, and I'll be back. All right, so you'll see now, once I got Pokemon Moon Emerald back into GBA for iOS, Dropbox automatically starts syncing, and that's because it realized that I have a save state for Pokemon Moon Emerald, and it's gonna start to update it or upload it into 
GBA for iOS in just a second. This does take some time, so be patient, but as you can see, for a second it flashed downloading Pokemon Moon Emerald save state. Now, if your GBA for iOS crashes, this is normal. I'm not exactly sure why this happens, but it happens to me a lot. Hopefully it does not happen to you, but I'm just gonna go ahead and reopen GBA for iOS, and then Dropbox is gonna do its thing again and start syncing, and hopefully this time it won't crash. All right, so there it said sync complete. Now I'm gonna open Pokemon Moon Emerald and I'm going to load a state. And as you can see, that state that I loaded in the GBA for iOS that I just deleted is here and my save is safe. And I don't have to worry about playing through a game and losing all of my progress because with Dropbox Sync, it'll still be there. So hopefully you guys learned something about Dropbox Sync and how useful that this setting is everyone should be using thank it. you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did then please hit that like button to show your support and comment down below if you knew about dropbox sync before or this is the first time you're learning how to use it or you knew about it but like you didn't really know how to use it anyways i'm rambling now check out some of my other videos on screen subscribe if you haven't already by clicking on my icon and as always thank you for watching Thank you for subscribing and welcome to the operation.